All right, hello. Today, what we are working on is getting Manta set up in your Windows computer. So this is not for Mac. We have a separate video for that. If you are here, you are looking to get Windows installed and have uh, Manta on it. First thing you are going to do is and if you are using Google, you can Google search and you can go to uh, this link right here. I can also provide it in the description. You're going to click on that and it will take you to the following website. When you are here, scroll down until you see the SharePoint. The SharePoint is extremely helpful. I have it already set up over here. Uh, what it does is it walks you through all the different steps that I'm showing and, and going through with you. This is just a visual representation for you. Um, but if you like to just get that quick link, go on it and you'll get all that stuff installed. Um, first thing you do once you get here, go ahead and click on the attached link right here. What's going to do? It's going to pop up a download. Okay. Once that loads and finishes downloading, if you have different setups where you have to click accept, you're going to do that. Um, so you go ahead, click on that. Wait a second. It's going to bring you to this screen. Now I've uninstalled it from my computer. So I'm doing this with you. You click next, you click accept. Click next again. I'm installing it. Yes, just for me. It's going to load. Give it a second. I'm going to launch it as it starts. Finish. All right. So as you can see, we're here where it says subscribe, subscribe with URL. So if I've made it to this point, then I've gotten to the subscribing using your USCG email. All right. So I go back, as you can see, it's the same type of, of um, logo. All right, we are going from here, we're gonna click subscribe with URL. So in this one, you're going to be entering in your email address with the Coast Guard. Okay, then it's gonna take a little second. Go ahead, let it load, click that link. Going to sign in once again. So then it will sign in with your reader. So the cat card reader that you got either from the exchange or from base, you're going to go ahead and use that. You sign in just as you would normally with anything that you have a cat card reader for. And then once you get here, you're gonna go ahead and click this computer icon, that is Manta. And we have successfully navigated our way into downloading Manta for the Windows type computers. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and let it load, give you a visual of what it looks like. It should look very familiar to your normal workstation and it'll already be set up and loaded for you. So that's how you complete setting up Manta for Windows.